songs for unusual creatures, Earth's strangest animals, and the music they inspire. The elephant shrew is not an elephant, and it's not a shrew. What is it? It's hiding in this log. Hello, and welcome to Songs for Unusual Creatures. I'm your host, Michael Hurst, and with me is the Songs for Unusual Creatures band. Hey, Hello. Hello. Today, I travel to our nation's capital to see an elephant shrew up close. And later, the band will perform a song I composed about the elephant shrew. But first, the elephant shrew can be found in Africa in a variety of habitats from deserts to bush forests. It uses its elongated elephant-like nose to find the little insects it eats. I traveled down to the Smithsonian National Zoo in Washington, D.C. to visit their elephant shrews. It was a rather hot day. People laugh at me. They'll walk by the exhibit and they're like, Maria's calling the shrews. <laughs> Crazy shrew. Hi, sweetie. Come on. You can see him in there. It's a short-eared elephant shrew. Look at him there. There he is. There he is. Elephant shrews are very careful not to get caught by predators. And when they sense danger, they run very, very fast. But if you're lucky, you'll catch a glimpse of an elephant shrew. Check out that elongated nose. I had to find out more about this mysterious creature. So this is the big question. It's called an elephant shrew, but are they in fact related to shrews or elephants or what are they related to? It's interesting because they're actually related to a lot of things that you wouldn't think that they're related to. Ranging from the manatee to an elephant. Aardvarks, golden moles, tenrecs, and hyraxes. The genetics has shown that they're actually related to one another. It's kind of a weird group of animals. And elephant shrews were named not because of their relationship to elephants, but because of their noses. They have prehensile noses that move around that look like an elephant's tusk. So what do they use these noses for? What do they do with them? Basically to find food. Some fruits, some vegetation, but primarily insects. They're known for burrowing, and what they do when they find their different burrow spots, they create different trails. They keep them clean, so that way they can follow any trail that they need to for quick escape. So when they do need to escape, how quickly can they get out of there? They move very fast. They are like a little lightning bolt moving across the ground. So one of my big inspirations for this piece was the orchestral suite Carnival of the Animals, written by the French romantic composer Camille Saint-Saëns, or as the French say, Camille Saint-Saëns. With Sanson's orchestral suite, each movement was inspired by a different usual animal, such as the turtle, the swan, and yes, the elephant. Hey, Jonti, can you play a little bit of Sanson's original melody? Sure, let's give it a shot. Hey, Jonti, that's cool. Uh, let's see what happens when we speed it up and play it on trumpet. While they typically live in pairs for protection, elephant shrews do not often like each other and will still sleep in separate nests. There are at least 17 different species of elephant shrew, including the gray-faced elephant shrew, and my personal favorite, the black and rufous elephant shrew. Each one is a little bit different, but they're all equally awesome.
Well, that's all the time we have today for Songs for Unusual Creatures. Thanks so much to the National Zoo and to the Songs for Unusual Creatures band. And thanks so much to you. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We love questions. See you next time. Bye, Bye everybody. Over.